A Trip to the Moon by George Melez. George Melez was a magician, stage director, actor, prop designer, and producer of films at the turn of the 20th century. Quoted from George Melez's Fantastic Cinema and the Origins of Cubism. Melez's techniques of multiple perspectives, the comic self-conscious dialogue between apparent art and apparent reality, and literally real objects into artistic context has been used by other artists. George Melez takes the audience to fantastic places that can only be imagined. The unreal situations are conscious of themselves. Basically, this means that the characters in this film realize that they're in a fantasy world. The astronomers are assembled in a large hall. This scene introduces the whole movie. The narrator tells us these astronomers don't know much about physics or astronomy. But the movie continues, and we expect the astronomers to show us their lack of their knowledge. They're planning a trip to the moon with little logic or scientific experience. They enter the interior of a workshop where Smith, mechanics, weighers, carpenters, upholsterers, etc. are working hard at the completion of the mission. At this point in the film, Melez invites the audience on a fantastic and illogical journey to the moon. We will now run a trip to the moon through the critical thinking framework. First, a question at issue. Is the film logical, illogical, or neither? Logical, meaning it could happen. Illogical, meaning it couldn't happen. And neither, when it becomes just art. First, we're going to look at Melez's purpose. His purpose is he wants to make an entertaining fantasy film. And as you can see here, it's wildly entertaining. A number of gunners are now pushing the shell up and incline into the mouth of the gun. The cannon is loaded. The breach is closed. Everyone is anxiously waiting for the signal which starts the shell on its voyage. The officer gives the signal, the gun is fired, and the shell disappears into space. And now for the concepts. In his films, he shares a number of features with cubist art. He uses anti-naturalistic images in his films. This means the images he shows are not found that way in nature. Here's an example of his anti-naturalistic images. One of them opens his umbrella to compare its size with a mushroom. But the umbrella suddenly takes root and transforming itself into a mushroom starts growing gradually, attaining gigantic proportions. Next, we'll look at his information. In the making of the film, Melez follows the plot of a Jules Verne novel called From the Earth to the Moon. Next are his assumptions. He assumes his audience is in France in the time period 1902. He also assumes that the audience will find his images entertaining. They stretch themselves out on the ground and go to sleep. Seven gigantic stars representing the great bear appear slowly. And out of the stars come faces of women who... Here, Melez assumes that the French audience in 1902 would find a popular ballet group in the film entertaining and wildly exciting. Next, we'll look at points of view. 
We looked at a few perspectives, the director's perspective, and the audience from the past, and the modern. Next, we'll look at interpretation. After running Melez's perspective through the wheel, we can now interpret and answer our question of, is the film logical or not? We have found the film to be illogical for three reasons. One, you cannot shoot a rocket to the moon with a cannon. Two, umbrellas cannot turn into mushrooms, even on the moon. Three, you cannot get back to Earth by falling off the moon. Finally, implications and consequences. Our work implies you shouldn't take the film at face value. Even though the film is illogical and has fallacies, Melez meant it to be a piece of art. One fallacy is the appeal to authority. By using Jules Fern, a fiction writer, as the scientific basis for his film. The second fallacy is he creates a false dilemma when the astronomers meet the Selenites. The Selenites had no weapons and were not threatening. So if you're trying to build a rocket, don't use Melez's example. But if you want a movie that is fun and artistic, the trip to the moon is for you.